Why didn't you tell me you could get into trouble by asking me to talk to DC Lee? Because then you might not have gone through with it. And I couldn't have risked that, could I? But why scupper your chances of doing the job that you love? I decided to quit. Yeah, only because your so-called mentor was giving you a hard time. You loved that job. Yeah, but there's plenty of other jobs out there. Don't lie. If the police force want to punish me for using my initiative and going the extra mile, they can shove the job. All I care about is you. You're the best friend in the world. Hiya, Mum. Oh, is this a group hug? Can we join in? You won't believe what he's done today. Helped a lot of our ladies across the road. No, he busted a cop. Good for you. Oh, no, seriously. Here's his job, possibly his life. And he got the bad guy. Congratulations, guys. Thank you. <laughs> More and all. <clears throat> I still can't get over it. I thought that sort of stuff only happened on cop shows. I was breaking out. You're a special. Aren't you biting off a bit more than you can chew? I don't care if I ruined my chance of being a proper cop. I just couldn't let them people that hurt Bethany get away with it. Oh, I just hope we're not getting carried away. What are you talking about? Mm. Would you do all this for anyone? Yeah. What did you take me for? Do you have any idea what she's been through? Is that why you were hugging? As a friend, yeah. It's been a very emotional day. Mm. I think she's more than just a friend. Are you trying to say use what happened to her to get close to her? I think you're in love with her. Will you shut up? You're talking rubbish. <sighs> Creaky. Oh, God. Is it that obvious? Do you reckon she's twigged? No. Because you're so lovely to her all the time. Promise me you won't say anything. No, sweetheart. I'm happy just being a friend. And I know nothing will come of it. But you were wrong. I'd do that for anyone. Because it was the right thing to do. <laughs>